Hey friends, I'm Paul. Welcome to my series on alcohol abstinence, art and literature. The more that I've been getting into researching this topic on alcohol abstinence, art and literature, just picked up this National Temperance Almanac from 1871, I'm realizing how much more fun and how much variety was in temperance movements over the course of about 120 years, guys, from, say, 1800 through Prohibition in 1920, as compared to AA, which has been extant for about 80 years now, the Sons of Temperance, the um, Orders of the Good Templars, which were um, kind of a branch off the historic Knights of Templars. For example, there's a um, graphic of the Band of Hope I was just mentioning in England, and it talks a bit, little bit about um, the Band of Hope. And they're always pitching some publications that you can purchase for, through your schools or church. This is an almanac, so there's fun little games in here and stuff too. A-king teeth are bad ten ants. Aching, t- aching teeth are bad tenants. Get it? It writes about all the statistics as far as how much money is being used up in uh, gin joints and saloons and jails and and prisons and all that stuff. So it really goes into a lot of detail about that. Really beautiful etching engravings in all of these, too. That's one thing I like is the artwork on a lot of stuff. And so th- then again, you get that visual thing, you know. Uh, Come home, mother. This is a really sad story about... A mom is hanging out in the gin joints and her kid wants her to come home and more uh, illustrations pertaining to this story and the mother goes home and uh, or her child is sick that's it a lot of a lot of this has to do with children and how they're abandoned and and in neglect because of their parents uh, misgivings there's a teetotaler alphabet Teetotal, again, does not refer to the drink T-E-A, but T as in the letter. Teetotal, meaning total abstinence from alcohol with a capital T. Teetotal. The alphabet goes from A through Z. You can just take a quick look at that. I won't read it, but you can get the idea. And on the opposite page here, we see some bunny rabbits, happy rabbits. How happy the rabbits. They have no bad habits. They never get tipsy, as lively as a gypsy. When the day's heat is over, they rollick in clover. Now, show me in the big book, guys, where you're going to have kind of a fun thing that makes you smile like that. Not so much. We got a little poem here about kittens, and that this kitten has got gin in her milk. And uh, in the bottom, I think, Mrs. Cat, you are to blame if you tincture your milk with gin. The, the kittens will take some of the same and imbibe with their drink the sin. So even if you put gin in the kitty's milk, they're going to turn into boozers. It's bad for everybody. But you see how much fun we're having? You see where I'm going with this? The jug or not. The jug or not. Play on words there. They were very crafty and creative back then. And there's the jug with all the debauchery and sin below the almighty jug. Here's a section on moderation. These teetotalers, which meant total abstinence, they would often um, eschew, yeah, criticize moderation because taking a little bit of booze every day could also cause problems. And this is a fun section I'll read to you. Well, Tom sent an employer to one of his men. How many glasses of whiskey do you take in the day? Not a drop, master, I assure you, but what is necessary for my health? How much do you suppose necessary for health, Tom? Why, master, as soon as I rise, I take my morning. Between that and breakfast, I take a facer. Immediately before breakfast, I take an appetizer. And shortly after, a digester. As it draws near 12 o'clock, I take another facer, or perhaps two. And at 12 precisely, I take my meridian. Between that and dinner, I take a facer and an appetizer, and after dinner, a digester or two. Between that and the time I leave off work, I take a couple of facers, and when done work, one right good glass made into punch to prevent my taking cold. And I assure you, master, I don't taste one drop from that until morning. (laughs) Tom was a moderate drinker in his own estimation. Pretty funny, guys. 
also down here, we have this um, graphic. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. That's from Proverbs 20. And actually the interpretation for that would be, wine is a mocker. Strong drink is a brawler. Nothing short of abstinence will reclaim the drunkard. A lot of the uh, temperance movements also eschewed tobacco uh, usage, as you can see right here. Interesting, historically, a list of inebriate asylums. I'd read about this one right here, the um, Ward's Island Asylum for Inebriates near New York City. Yeah, you can see there's a few in New York, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, even Prince Edward Island. You Canadians up there, check it out. Here's a neat little poem here that invokes Proverbs 23:31. Beware of the serpent. Wine giveth its color are right in the cup. But what will you do when the serpent springs up? When the adder, that's a snake, which lies surely coiled up below, strikes to prove neath the wine, hides your deadliest foe. More are drowned in the wine cup than in the depths of old ocean. Now, this invokes the proverb, do not look at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup and goes down smoothly. At the last, it bites like a serpent and stings like an adder. Your eyes will see strange things and your mind utter perverse things. You will be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea, like one who lies on top of the mast. They struck me, you will say, but I was not hurt. They beat me, but I did not feel it. When shall I awake? I will seek another drink. Wow, guys. Thanks for joining me here this evening, everybody. And I look forward to reading your comments below. I'd also appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and share this video with all of your friends and family who are interested in alcohol abstinence, art and literature, and connecting with an online community to have fun and to look at things from a historical perspective, perspective and learn something along the way. Have a great evening and we'll see you soon.